Hello. Welcome, everybody. But I don't welcome you. I am Mr. Grimm. Tonight's program, I am going to scare the hell out of you. No, that ain't how I'm scaring you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to scare you by telling you not to follow the rules. This is what I'm calling this one. I'm calling this one, don't follow the rules. Break all the rules. Hey, what's that, Gary? Nobody here. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> hey, I want you to listen to me. And we're going to get this thing started. You know how we start this, don't you? Yeah. Right here. Welcome to hell. Welcome to your worst fucking nightmare. Welcome to everything you hate. I hate you. You know that, right? I hate you. Fully on you. All right. Hey, let's talk about crisis workers today. Specialists, let's talk about Christian crisis workers. I was talking to one the other day on the phone. Hello. Christian counselor. Christian therapist. Christian, what? What's that, Gary? No, don't even start that right now. Hey, Christian therapist. No. Christian crisis worker. Yeah, I'm on the phone. You got this Christian crisis worker who hangs up on me and says, I am not Christian. I need to give up who I am and get the Bible verses. Now, this is a th uh, not a therapist. This is a crisis worker. Hangs up on me. Ah, this is a book of lies. Wow. And she hangs up on me, tells me that I need to change who I am. I need to be saved. Let's talk about that. Okay. Okay, hey, Jesus, what's that? I'm going to go to where? I'm going to hell. Oh, my God. Gary, okay. track mine. Here. Hey, how do I be? Hey, Gary, how do I get saved? What? What's that? It's in the Bible. I don't see it in there. How do I get saved? First, I got to give up who I am. First, I got to give up who I am. Then I got to stop being Susan. What's that? I can't dance anymore. Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Then I got to find God. Where is he lost? Hey, God, Jesus, are you lost? Hey, Jesus! Hey, you can't find your way. Hey, you people out there, what's that? Yeah. What's that? You want to go where? No, you want me to go there. First of all, you do know you're being full, right? I told you this again and again and again and again. Shit. And let's go back to that Christian therapist. Here's what she says. I need to find God. I need to be saved. I never knew I was lost. Am I lost, honey? Yes, I am. I know I hear I hear all you people out there saying I'm lost. Here's what they're gonna they're gonna say. Here we go. Are you ready? No homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! Mom! Did I scare you? No.
never be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! Mom! Did I scare you? No. I know what you people are going to say. I'm lost. I'm going to go to hell. I'm going to burn in hell. I'm going to pay for my sins. You believe all that stuff? Well, it's too bad. It's like believing in a chocolate milk drink that ain't for real. And don't ask me what I know what I'm talking about, because I fucking don't. I'm going to do this for you right now. I know you're waiting for it. Let me go on with this. You want to know something? There's many people out there that walk into church every single day with this. Bible, the biggest book of lies, book of lies in the world. What's that? Yeah, everything in here, you don't believe none of this. You need to go out there and you need to break all the rules. Why am I telling you to break the rules? Because they don't mean anything. What? What, 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 what? What's that, Gary? What's that, Gary? Hey, Nobody Gary. Here. <laughs> Nobody's here. Who would have known? Hey, okay. You people need to know the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man get to the truth except through me. Here's the truth. You want to know the truth? Put your thinking caps on. All you Christians, hold your hands over your ears. And all you people over here, scared of Mr. Grimm, run down the street, run like hell, run like fucking hell, and run and hide behind your Bible. Don't forget, Gary. Hide behind your Bible. Hide under the bed. And let your mommy, let your mommy tell you a bedtime story. Yeah, let her hold your hand. Why you piss in your pants? What's that? Why you pee in your pants? You know I'm scared of Mr. Grimm. You made me laugh. Let's have a laugh for that right now. You have your beautiful cars, you have your beautiful houses. You want to know what I think of that? Up this. You know what that is. I hope you fucking fall apart. I hope you die. As a matter of fact, I'm already dead. It's all fooey on you. All right. Now, you need to, what's that? I'm going to hell. Where, what's that? Oh.
one-track mind. He's scared of his, his own shadow. He's a hypocrite. You know what a hypocrite is, don't you? Yeah, he's scared of everything. <laughs> oh my god. This guy is funny as hell. Shit. You know that, right? All right, let's go on. What's that? Here, yeah, I'm telling you, Jesus is an alien. He came to the planet Earth about 60,000 years ago in a spaceship. Yeah, like Star Trek. No Jesus up there. Oh God, God help me, God. Oh God help me. No, there's none of that. That's not for real. Yeah, you can trust me. I'm trustworthy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, you sit there and you pray to God. Oh God, give me this, give me that. Ain't nobody to pray to up there. What's that? We were talking about a Christian counselor. What? What's that, Gary? Nobody's here. We were talking about a Christian crisis line worker. I told her that I'm going to take a bottle of pills, and she asks me about my soul. You're going to save? Get saved. Oh, you talk about getting saved all the time. Hey, honey, what are they saving me from? The storm? Are they saving me from you bozos? You like all this Jesus crap? You like all this bullshit? You know what? You've been fooled. They pulled the wool over your eyes, honey. <laughs> I think you're funny. I want your money. <laughs> Give me all your money, all you Jesus people out there. Give me your tithes. This is the church of Jesus Christ. And you know what we're all about? We're about money. We're going to take all your money, and I'm going to buy me a big air-conditioned doghouse with it and a brand new fucking car. What do you think of that? And I hope your family, I hope they have the worst day in the world. That's what your Jesus is. You know what, as long as you follow them, you follow Jesus, you do what they want you to do, and you, they steal you. Have you ever had you stolen from you? Well, that's what Jesus does. He steals you from you. Like this.
sir. I'd like you to sit back here. I'm, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? What did you say? Sir? I'm not a sir, I'm a ma'am. Are you sure? Because I'll have the sheriff uh, check and see if you are. Do you want to correct that, please? I come here to enjoy the music. I will sit back here, but there's no need for insult me. I'm not insulting you. You sit, you sit back here. All right. You want to correct what you said I'm first, gonna, please? I'm going to have the, I'll tell you, make people most uncomfortable when you use a lady's restroom. Okay. And so I'd like, uh, if we need to, we'll have, uh, we'll have the sheriff here to uh, talk with. honey. They steal you from you. They take you from you. And when you get done, you don't know who the hell you are anymore. You're their puppet. Like, they got you on a string. Pull your puppet. Here, I'm going to stick you in the guts. That's what they got. And they get there and they get there and they fucking call the cops on you. Oh, there's Susan coming into church. Oh, wait a minute. God says, Ah, uh, what am I doing reading this Bible? It's a book of trash. Here's in the Bible. Call the cops. Here, Jesus, police. Hey, come and get some, come and, come here. We got some transgenders coming into church. We need to have them arrested right now. You come down here right now. All right. I'll be waiting for you. That's Jesus. That's God. That's the Christian therapist. You want to see a Christian therapist? That's what they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you you need to be who you are. You need to be who they are. You need to give up who you are. And you need to be saved. I'm going to talk about saved in a minute. But first, I got to do something. First, I have to do something. I got to do something with this knife. I'm coming after you. Here I come. Coming. you the love that this guy showed for me at the Faith Family Church. Showed Susan. Let me show you the love that Jesus Christ showed me and Susan. You want to see the love that, that uh, the Faith Family Church showed Susan how, how loving Jesus Christ is? Do you want to hear it? You want to see it? Well, you're going to. Take a listen to this. This is how much the Faith Family Church told me that they love me to Jesus and amen and the father upstairs. This is Detective Green with the Shiloh Police Department. Yes. We're here in reference to a report made by Faith Family Church in Shiloh, okay, in reference to the honey. We've went through this before 150 times. I totally understand, but I'm just letting you know that you're not welcome to go back onto that property. They signed a trespass warning saying that you're not welcome at Faith Family Church in Shiloh, okay? So this is 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back. I didn't, say, uh, I didn't understand. I'm sorry. Say well, that again. Go Welcome on the property of Faith Family Church. If you go back to Faith Family Church in Shadow, you're going to be arrested. Okay? That's the note. Okay, who said this? Who did made it? Who made this out? Faith Family Church. Because we went through this last year. The same thing. Faith Family Church went down here. We already did this. They already did this. Have you been served with a trespass warning? This last, last Christmas, yes. Well, I got they 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 another one. They call me a freak monster and a, a monster. I need your signature right here on the form showing that you've been notified that you're not welcome on the property, okay? All right. We're going to take up any more of your time. We just need Can to I get a here. copy of that? If you'd like to come up to Shadow Police Department. No, I don't want to come up. Let me see that. It's a trespass warning. Because you know what? This place is completely wasted my time. All I'm doing, I, I, I can't even walk. I just had surgery last week. You know what I mean? And this guy is wasting my time. He says, I'm I'm from hell and all this kind of stuff. I'm never going to let them know. But this guy is a fruitcake. You know what I mean? I'm sorry you're having these problems. But like I said, we're just telling you there's a fruitcake. Safe family church. You have a good day, sir. That's how much Jesus loves me. Let me put some beautiful music onto that one. Jesus loved me so much he wants to give me to get me arrested. Oh, what else is it, preacher from Faith Family? Oh, there's your Bible. Boo! I'll tell you, I'd, I'd rather go to the, the biker bar down the damn street and with the, the guy with the, the black pants on. Jesus loved you so much, he rested you and he throws you out of church and he calls you a chainsaw monster. Chainsaw monster, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I forgot about that. Get it. I'm the chainsaw monster. Jesus, my finger. Where's my finger? My finger. Oh my God, I just cut it off. Oh, I found it. Wait a minute, I need it, I need it. I'm hungry. You make me sick. How many of you sit there tired of listening to this crap? How many 
you want me to just knock all of this crap down and get out of this place, huh? How many of you want to see me do that? Grab my chainsaw. After all, I'm the chainsaw monster. Oh, I'm the one to be scared of. You're damn right. You should be scared. But what you're scared of isn't me. What you're scared of is yourself. You're scared of you got me and you. You're scared of yourself. So you go run home. You run home like you said. You run. What are you doing, Susan? I didn't tell you to run. Why? Susan, what are you doing on the floor? Get your butt off the floor. I didn't tell you to go any place. Stay there. Oh, Susan, I'm sorry. We're not after you. We're after this guy. Right here. Where is he at? There he is. Ugly face and all. How many of you want to see me to throw this crap all over the floor and quit? How many? You want to see me do that? We're going to. We're going to. Don't worry. You want to know something? I'm sick of this. How many of you are sick of this crap? I'm Mr. Grimm. I'm angry because I've been misunderstood. You want to know something? You don't believe your own words. You don't believe your own self, do you? You don't believe anything. Whoa. Whoa. We just destroyed the joint. I just took it. He smoked the joint. That's this preacher guy right here. He smoked the joint. And then he went and told me all this bullshit he's trying to tell me. Get up off the floor. What'd you do, go and die? Oh, I'm sorry. You did die, didn't you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm dead, too. What am I talking about? You know what? i got a message for you. And I'm tired of hearing your crap. Because you're not scared of me, Mr. Grimm. You know, you're scared of Mr. Grimm. You want to know something? Boo. Go home. Run to your mommy. And sit on her lap. And cry like a freaking baby. Because I don't care. Because you hurt me. You hurt me. That's all you do is hurt me. All you people and you believe in this Bible and all this crap. I'm dead. What the hell do I care? You believe in this and this Bible and all you people from the uh, Faith Family Church, from St. Matthew's Union United Methodist, from the goddamn shrine up in Belleville. Where's the rest of them? The Grace Bible Church. All of you people, this guy is, is not got a, a mold for himself. You're all alike. You want to know something? I'd rather go down that street to the goddamn bar where the bikers are. And maybe I'll get some love and understanding there. Because you haven't shown it to me. You need to learn your stuff. You need to take this stick out of your own eye first, man, before you come over to me. You don't know who the hell I am. You don't know what I am. You don't know if I'm Susan. You don't know if I'm dead. You don't know if I'm alive. You don't know if I'm, a, I'm an imposter. But this is an imposter. This Faith Family Church, and what's the other one? St. Matthew's. Oh, I think Faith Family's got St. Matthew's a beat, though, don't you? You see, you preach the word of God. You preach the word of love and understanding. Here's what you preach. You want to know what it is? What's the music to this one? Music? We hate transgenders. We hate God. We hate people. We hate people that are different. We hate gays. We hate lesbians. Uh, we like money over here, though. Hey, give me some money. Give me your goddamn money. Give me your money. Donate, 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 donate. I dropped my stick, and I'm gonna hit him with it. Donate some money. You can uh, like that. If I, if I bought you in five hundred dollars a week, I bet you wouldn't throw me out, would you? You wouldn't throw me out then, would you? No. I can't use the women's bathroom. I can't. I'm a transgender. We hate transgenders at this great family church. We hate gays. We hate, like, basically, we hate everybody that's different. And you want to know something? We don't preach about God here. We preach about hate. We hate in the name of God in this church. Ain't you sick of hearing this crap by now? I know I am. You sick of hearing this bullshit? You ready for me to knock this whole damn thing apart and get some truth? I tell the truth, always. I don't have any reason not to. You sick of hearing this? You sick of these damn lies? Come with me then. Thank you. Stop playing that music too. Cause I want some good old rock and roll. 
I want to listen to this. You gonna listen with me? Here's what I want to hear. Some good old twisted sister. You know what I'm gonna play, don't you? Twisted sister. What's that? What did you say to me? Take a listen to this now. Jesus. <laughs> okay, now we're going back. We're going to talk about all these therapists and the case managers and the uh, therapists and the crisis workers. Hey, you sit there and they listen to your crap all the time. You know that? These Christian therapists, all they can do is come up with the Bible. This is a book of bullshit right here. They come up with, they sit there and listen to all your bullshit. You want to know something? You want to know something? I couldn't do it. You don't tell me all your bullshit. You take that crap and go somewhere else with it. I don't want to hear about your bad day. I don't want to hear about your puking all over the place. I don't want to hear about your lost soul. Speaking of lost souls, what's that, Gary? <laughs> shit. Nobody's here. Hey, listen up. I know how to get your attention. Here it is. Now that I got your attention, go away. Go the hell away. I don't want to deal with you idiots anymore. All you people out there, you Jesus, and all you haters out there, you want to know something? The next time you have a birthday, the next time you have a good, you have a good smiley day, and everything is going just perfect, you want to know something? You want to, I want you to think about me, because I'm here to spoil your bad, your good day. <laughs> I'm here to make you feel horrible. I'm here to make you scared to death. Run like hell. You know that? There is no Jesus. No, I'm not lying. There is no Jesus, honey. It's a figment of your imagination. You know how to know what Jesus is? Here, I got my bot, my trusty bot. What's that, Gary? What's that? Oh, Gary. Okay. Okay, Gary, you're right. I'm going to hell. Now, all you people out there, this book doesn't mean anything. Here, this book doesn't mean anything at all. Listen to what I've got to say. Hell and heaven is a big lie. It's an illusion, I Trust me, I know. There is no hell. There is no heaven. There is no God. There is no Jesus and there is no devil. I laugh at people to think of that stuff. I laugh day and night. <laughs> <laughs> You want to 
know something? <clears throat> you want to know something? You people make me laugh with this stuff. Here's what you're going to need to get. Here is the only thing. What's that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold it. Hold on to everything. Hold on. Hold on to everything. Hold on, any. We got two transgenders in the church here. <clears throat> What's that? No. No, 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 no. We're calling the police. Hello, police. Yeah. Yeah. This is the pastor of the church. You need to get over here right, and out, right away. There's, there's a transgender over here. Two of them. And they're gay lovers. And you need to get, out, get them out of this church. Arrest them and put them in jail and lock and throw the heat away. Shit. I chop your head off. I chop your head off. I chop your head off. Let's watch the <laughs> Sheriff's office. Well, in the event that something happens, we're gonna for this person help, not for a charade here. Oh, okay. So you want us to go by your rules? Yeah, you want us to go by I the am. book? Want us to go by the book? Fantastic. Yeah. You have a drunk person in your house. Something I can do for you. Bye. Bye. See you later. Okay, now that we've cleared the garbage out, I hope that every birthday you ever have, what's that? You talk about Chris? Who's talking about Christmas? Nobody here. Shit. <laughs> Let's talk about Christmas here. You want to know something? Most, a lot of you people are already talking about Christmas. Well, you want to know something? You want to know my feelings at Christmas? You want me to tell you what I think about Christmas? Here it is. Bah humbug. Bullshit with Christmas. I hope you have a bad Christmas. I hope you get COVID for Christmas. I hope you get COVID. I hope you get the flu and ammonia and fucking die. That's what I hope you have your Christmas. I hope you don't get no presents. What's that? You don't like it? Well, guess what? That's tough cookies, isn't it? It's my life. This is my reality. You don't belong to it. Get out of my life. All you workers of hell. Welcome to my nightmare. I want you to be a part of my nightmare. So come on in, honey. Come on into this nightmare. I want you here with me. <laughs> Oh, these people. They made me laugh. Okay, let's get that Bible out. We're talking about the crisis workers. What's that? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man get to the Father except by me. I have no comment about that. You know, uh, you know how I feel about it already, don't you? That's right. It's a bunch of bullshit. And so are all you people out there. This is a black death. I am death. I am dead, honey. And I hope all of you people are too. I hope you fall on the ice. <laughs> Your Jesus ain't real. You need to wake up. I don't follow the rules. I make a joke out of the rules. You don't need to follow the rules either. You need to be who you are. That's what the whole name of the game is. I am going to burn in the hell.
people with all their Bibles, they sit there and they tell you, you gotta be saved. Oh, you gotta save me. Hey, Jesus saved me. Save me. What's that? I'm not allowed in church. What is that? What's this? Oh, 
Oh, here, wait a minute. Jesus' word right here. I got God's word right here. What do you think about that? Jesus, Jesus just gave me his word. Uh-oh. Is this Jesus' word? No trespassing on church grounds. What? What is that? Your word, God? No trespassing on Jesus, on God's ground, on God's church. Whoa. I think I'll smoke a joint on that one. How about you? I don't got one. I don't have any money. I gave all my money to the damn church. And you know what these church people, do you know what they do with it? You know what they do with that money? Do you? Do you know what they do with that money? They take and buy themselves air-conditioned dog houses. They buy cars with it. They buy new clothes with it. And they claim they give it to God. Here's them giving it to God. Hey, God. Hey, Jesus. My pocket right here. I stick it in my pocket. And oh, boy. I'm going out and buying me a brand new truck. $45,000. You dumbbells out there paid for it. You idiots paid for their truck. And they're laughing their ass off at you. But it's a fucking joke. It is a joke. You people are a joke. You are a joke. You and your stupidity. Hey, welcome to my nightmare. This is what it's like here all the time. This is hell. Are you ready for it? Are you ready to come here and join me? I welcome you here in my little hell here. Welcome to my life. It's a goddamn nightmare. And so are all you people. But you're all about to die. So you better run like hell. Run like hell. Because I'm a fucking madman. I'm going to fucking come after you. <laughs> Let's have a laugh about that one. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. All you people, you believe the dumbest things I ever seen in my life. You believe these therapists over here, they're sitting there telling you you gotta be saved. Whoa, I gotta be saved. <sighs> Chewing on your tobacco. Blah, 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 I gotta be saved. Uh, how do I do that? I gotta give up who I am. I gotta give my soul to Jesus. What does that mean? That, mean, that means you can't be who you are anymore. That means they've stole you from you. Are you ready for that? You ready for them to steal you from you? Are you that stupid? Really? Are you? If you are, give it. What? What's that, Gary? What's that, Gary? <laughs> oh, this guy is fucking funny, ain't he? What are you doing out there? What are you fucking doing? Tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're doing. Shit. <laughs> I can't help laughing at you people out there. You believe in all this horse shit. And you sit there every day and you practice it. You practice it. And you're waiting for this great big heaven. All you people waiting for heaven. You got a big disappointment coming out there. There ain't no such place. That's the aliens. You know, from the UFOs, the spaceships. What's that? You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Well, maybe this will convince you. Maybe my knife will convince you. I'm coming after you right now. Here I come. <laughs> you like your trip? Did you like hell? <laughs> oh, you people. You got me so fucking laughing so hard. It isn't funny. For God so made the world. He gave his only begotten son. So everybody will betray him. What's that? I got that wrong? Well, guess what? I'm starting up my own church here. Hey, I got my own church here. Here it is. Oh, I can't read. I never learned to read. Did you? Yeah. Starting up my own church here. And guess what? 
We're starting with the rock band. Uh, we're starting with all the rock bands over the best ones. Starting over here with Pink Floyd. He's right in back of me. He's going to make an appearance tonight. He's come to the Church of Nightmares. That's what my church is called. It used to be called the Faith Family Church. And Gary used to be the idiot preacher. He used to be the preacher. Guess what? I'm the preacher now. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Welcome to your nightmare. Welcome to your dreams being screwed up. You want to know something? Who out there has a birthday today? Do you got a birthday? How about you? Guess what? I wish you a rotten birthday. I hope you have nothing but trouble. And I hope your cake is full of ants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true, Gary. He's my gay lover. Yeah, we just got done back there in the church. Wait, we went in the cry room in the church. The cry room, C-R-Y room. Right, we did it. Me and Gary. What's that? You don't believe me? Ask him. He's at the faith, but what's that, Gary? You want me to shut up? I don't shut up. I tell the truth. All right. Who out there is, who out there is sick today? Who out there is sick? I wish you, I don't, I wish you continue to be sick. I hope you continue to be sick. Who out there is having a good day? Who out there is smiling today? What? You? Guess what? I'm here to ruin it. I'm here to put a frown on that smile. <laughs> I'm fucking weird. I am an abomination of God. <laughs> <laughs> I am your worst goddamn nightmare. I am a monstrosity. I'm coming for you. Run like hell. Oh, you got your running shoes on, baby? Because I'm coming at you with a hatchet. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. <laughs> I'm chop, chop. Chopping all those Christians' heads off. Chop, chop. You see them going down the street. Oh, I got Jesus by mistake. Wait a minute, there ain't no Jesus. Sorry about that one. You know, it's a, you know there ain't no Jesus, right? They're all aliens. They're all from space. There's no Jesus. I'm sitting there. I'm telling you the truth. What's that? I'm going to burn in hell. What is this, Gary? Gary, here. I have something for you. All of you. You love it, don't you? Because <laughs> I can do it, you can't. Go to hell now. I want you to go po co go drink some poison and come back and die. How about that? Okay. Hey, you want to know something? I hate you. You want to know something more? There ain't no God. There ain't no Jesus. There ain't no Savior up there. Nobody's going to save you. Hey, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. I pray to you. Oh, I'm having a religious experience. Ooh, this is a big one. You hear that, Liz Elizabeth? This is a big one. I'm coming to join you, honey. I'm coming to join you. This is a big one. Oh, shit. You make me laugh. You people make me laugh at this bullshit you believe in. You think there's somebody out there? What's that? What's that, Gary? I'm going to burn in hell. Damn right. Hey, all of you fools out there. You do know there ain't no hell, right? You know this is a bunch of made-up bullshit, right? There ain't no hell, no heaven, 
No Jesus. No big man up in the sky that's going to save all of you people. It's you and you and you alone. I'm telling truth. I tell nothing but the truth. So help me. Yeah, I can't say God because I don't believe in God. There ain't no God. What's that? I'm going to... This guy is crazy. <laughs> All you people out there, you follow the rules. You want to know something? I'm encouraging you to go out and break the rules. Go ahead and make feel good. Go down the road 100 miles an hour. Right. Break the fucking rules. Because it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. You do realize that. And if you don't, I'm coming after you with a choppy here. A hatchet and I'm going to chop your head off. I'm going to go church up for all the Christians. And chop, 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 chop. <laughs> I'll come around here. They come around here from the Faith Family Church. And here, you want to know what God's love is all about. Here it is. A no trespass order. God and your love. I think I'll pass. All you people out there wishing for me to smile. You want me to smile? I'm not going to smile. I hope you don't either. I hope you have a bad birthday. If you got a wedding coming up, I hope you fall on your, your neck and break your fucking leg. <laughs> yeah! I'm Mr. Grimm. I'm already dead. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> oh my god. You people make me fucking laugh. Hey, alright, 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 alright. Right. right. I'm coming up with one good thing to say about you. And you want to know what that is? Here it is. Here's the good thing I got for you. Go away. Leave me in my misery. And go to hell someplace and fucking join. What? Here, I'm coming at you with this. You want to know something? You people envy me, don't you? Because I'm doing what you can't do. You're scared to talk like I am. You're afraid. You're afraid there's a God up there that's going to do something to you if you talk like I do. I know the truth, honey. Wake the fuck up. There is nothing. You end up being in a, you're winding up in an illusion. What's that? that I'm going to burn in hell. This guy's got a one-track mind. Jesus. <clears throat> God, I'm telling you something. This is funny. You people, the way you believe, this bullshit, this Christmas stuff, that's another thing. All this Christmas malarkey that you do, bah humbug. Keep it and stick it right in your ear where it belongs. Out of fucking Christmas? What is this bullshit about Christmas? What is this bullshit about Thanksgiving? What do you go eat food and you eat food and you do that every day? You thank the Lord, oh thank you Jesus for nothing. There ain't no Jesus. He's an alien. Oh God, what do I gotta do? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna prove it to you. Hey. Hey. He's there. What? Ah. He's asleep today. Everybody's asleep today. I wish I'm going too pretty soon. I'm going to leave you all in your fucking misery. I hope you all get sick with COVID. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mr. Graham. I know you all love me. Here, I'll give you a little something for me. Here's something for me. Here's something for me for you. Here it is. No trespass order. <laughs> I'm smiling underneath here. You just can't see it. I know you all love me. You all feel just like I do. You're tired of this bullshit, ain't you? 
You're tired of this Jesus shit. And it's, oh, we got to sing in church. We got to do this. We got to believe in God. There ain't no God. There ain't no life. There isn't anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my grave in my coffin right now. I want you to do something. I want you to fucking go away. Matter of fact, here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna give you a nice present. Are you ready? I'm gonna throw up for you. How do you like that? Now you're gonna look at me throwing up. And you're gonna love it, ain't you? Don't you wish? I hope you throw up today. I hope you get sick. I hope you lose your money. I hope you lose everything you got. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I've had enough of this shit. Here. Go away. Just go away. Go the hell away. I don't want to see you no more. Go away. <laughs>